We're back and streaming again. Streaming yet again. All right. One moment. All right, you want to do the nether roof now? I'd be down to do the nether roof. Check a couple of things. Yep, looks like we're good. Great. Soda pop noises. No, my mic's on. I just haven't talked yet. <coughs> also, you really outdid yourself with this chest. You went all the way and got... Oh, well, I guess uh, since it's in here. <laughs> yes, it's not muted. I won't make that mistake twice in one week. I might forget at some point. Like if I were to switch computers all of a sudden and OBS changes everything. Other than that, I'm here now. The issue with getting to the nether roof, I don't know if you saw, is there's a lava lake. How do we get above the lava lake? <laughs> what, you made the... Did you get make all the way up to the top? Also, sheps are annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. No! He's disconnected. I know you're still there. In the chat. Chatting. Ah, there he is. Good. So you said you made a way up to the surf, or the roof. Not above the bedrock roof? Okay, I'll go up there and then you can teleport when you're... That's sad. Notice how it's a small fireball. Okay, I'm heading up and then you can teleport to me because I want to get really far away from spawn. And then we can all just, like, chat over there. And not have to worry about anybody getting to us. I assume the third person is Oog in the stream. 
Okay. Do you want to TP to me now? Or actually, wait. TPA here. You. Yeah, are you okay with being in the stream? This should be high enough. Unless we're going to do the funny glitch thing where we uh, break the bedrock. Oh, don't you need the ender dragon egg for that, though? There you go. Oh, I didn't mean to give two. Okay. Boat. Why do we need the boat? Are you sure you don't want two pearls? Just in case you mess up once? Aim at the edge of the corner. Okay, show me. If you can just get up there. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go up there, can we get obsidian? And we can just build a portal up there. We need to We need to grab obsidian. Wait, can we just grab the portal that's down there? I don't have a diamond pickaxe on me. Do you? You have obby? You have enough to make a portal? Okay, cool, cool. Um, here's the other pearl. That's two. work oh can you not throw one on a ladder Do you want me to try? It's just in the corner I have to throw it, right? Because I could do that if it's just the corner. Okay. Oh, is that what they said? Darn it. Freaking in the video. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh here, drop them. Is it just the, the like the corner of all the blocks like right here? Like right here? You can just look on the stream and say yes or no if this is right. Up oh, place the other ladders for me. Cause I don't think it'll work unless I'm climbing the ladder. At least place one more. So that there's a uh, Okay. Place place one more ladder. Okay, thank you. What? Yeah, it's not letting me... Wait. I'm gonna... Yeah, let's find a better... I'm gonna test if you can just throw one in another, okay? So I might lose one, but... Yeah, it's... It's not even letting me throw pearls. Hang on. Let me... Go to the Discord real quick. Okay, there's only an admin on. That's not good enough. <sighs> Let's see if I can get a hold of owner.
Any other way you think we can break through the surface? I don't know. I don't think so. Did do pearls have you used pearls in the overworld before? Yeah, yeah, I can get a minecart and a rail. I'll actually, I'll check if I can use um, pearls in the overworld. No, you can't. You can't even, yeah, there must be a bug with the pearls. Weird. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, minecart and a rail, you says. I'll grab that. Does it? have to be a specific type of rail or just like uh, normal normal rails fine okay There's that and that. Yeah, right. We won't even be able to get out into the roof until. You can teleport to me, I think. Or just do slash home if you... Oh, okay. Do you want me to put the blocks behind you so that, like, you'll get pushed up? Because what you're doing is you're suffocating in the minecart, and then when you get out, it pushes you back to, like, this block because this is an open block. It's checking for open blocks. So I wonder if I block off where you are. Okay, okay, go ahead and try it now. Yeah, heal up. Okay, I'll place the blocks as soon as you get in. Go ahead. Are you, like, crawling now? <laughs> no. Um, how can we fix that? I wonder if we can get it on a half slab. If we can get a minecart on a half slab. I'm trying to think how to do that. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. I'll block. You're blocked. Oh, so close. Still. No. Is it? Oh. You good? Oh, did you get up? Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. Make the portal. I'm going to go destroy the old portal. I'll let you know when it's destroyed. I'm going down the ladder. Well, actually, you'll be able to see when it's destroyed. Also, there's a big magma and a small magma. Um, okay, one second. Let me block stream real quick. Okay, I'm going to send you the cords. I think you'll be able to see them. What? Oh, you got a screen of it? Okay. I'm going to break the portal now. R.I.P. I'm, 
I'll put stream back on as soon as I'm done breaking this. Kind of breaking obsidian with an iron pickaxe. It's, it's still going. I think we're almost there. I can't tell, but we might almost be there. Okay, portal's broken. Oh, I see a new portal. There's a new portal down here. Why is there two portals? What's this portal from? I'm gonna have to break this one too. Okay, I'm breaking it then. Oh, that must be the cave, the um, underground cave below our base. Yeah, it's it's definitely because we made two portals. Um, Grinder made a portal, or Aaron made a portal down, um, down in the cave, and so that must be what this one is. We're going. It's almost broken. There we go. It just broke. I'm turning stream back on. Oh, is the capture not going to work now? Oh, there we are. All right, we're back. Okay, both portals are broken. If I go home, you should be able to go through the portal and get to our base now. Go ahead and try and go through. Okay. You hear? Okay, now the real test is if we go back through, will it bring us there? And yes, we're on the roof. We have roof access now. That's good. This is amazing. All right. So do you want to go like 100k blocks in another in a direction? What does it take to make speed pro uh, pods? Isn't it rabbit's foot? No, that's jump. Uh, speed is, oh, well, he's gone. Ah, he is back. What does it take to make speed? It's, um, is it just sugar? Oh, it's just sugar. Oh, that's so cheap. Could you make speed too? Because if we can get, like, I don't know, a row of speed, too. If we can get a row of speed, two like, splash pots. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I also will farm some wheat. Internet still being crummy. What are you going to do?
Wow, your internet is bad. Holy moly. One bar. Why, though? Why do the internet be bad? Cool, that's like another... Oh, oh that's a lot of bread. One moment, I'm going to go AFK for a second. I'll be back in a moment, though. All right, I'm back now. You're out of gunpowders? Um, well, you see, if uh, Mr. Aaron didn't take all my gunpowder and make it into TNT, I would definitely have enough for um, to do that. And it just has to be the middle of the day, so we can't even get the creep. Oh, I found a creep. I found a creep. I'm going to go kill it. I killed it. I got a gunpowder. What? Oh, I got two gunpowder. Two. That can make six splash, right? It's six, right? Here, I'll come give it to you. Okay, then what do we do? Do we do splash? Um, do we do splash one then? Because you can make... Uh, yeah, we just need to make whatever's going to get us the farthest. So, like, that's going to take some, like, crazy hardcore math to do. Because at that point, it's how many blocks you can run per minute with each, w with each one. So w which one's actually more efficient? Ooh, an ender chest. Don't mind if I do.
Oh, the noises start. Oh, man. I got a b bunch of diamonds when I was mining. Especially with that Fortune 3 really helped. Uh, I definitely want to live next to a village so that we can uh, do... Um, an, an iron golem farm. Ouch. This is going to be good. We don't have enough for all of the gunpowder we need. It's almost nighttime though, so I could go slay some. You have a bunch of normal speed too though, right? Yeah. We only have three sets of splash then for speed two, or just two? Let me go check at home. I might actually have some more gunpowder. I'm just not looking at it. No, I really didn't pick anything up. Well. Rip, rip, rip. Okay, I'll come back to you. Oh, I have to wait 22 more seconds. Yes, very pro tip. I would highly recommend using a shield when you're battling any mob. Shields are retarded and shouldn't be this overpowered. Okay, there we go. Nice. Well, it's nighttime, so I could go kill some creepers real quick. Now we just have to wait for such a mob to spawn. Oh, here's one. Killed it. Two more gunpowder.
That's a skeleton. Here's a creeper. I got three now. I'm coming. Pop. I thought bobs were supposed to be harder than this. Okay. Oh, there's one. Oh, the lag. Yes, you can. I think. Why? Wait, are you in the nether? Oh, no, he just blocked with the shield. I literally... Okay, I got a gunpowder. I thought I didn't get one for a second. I'm pretty sure in 1.19 they updated it so the sword doesn't have the charge. I know the axe does for sure. The axe has the charge back. I think. Let me go. Oh, there's another creeper. I guess I'm going to go deal with that first. Man, the lag sometimes. Bro, I didn't drop anything. Did the zombie or the skeleton win? Oh, there's a spider in its place. This is like the first spider tonight, though. Oh, the skeleton won. I don't think that'll work like that, but... I could ask for them to reboot. Do you still need another one, or do we have all the gunpowder we need? <laughs> oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what? It didn't... Bruh! This is rigged. Two in a row didn't drop. Okay, here's a third one. Give me... Bruh! Three in a row. No drop. No gunpowder at all. Ah, oh, there's vexes now. Or uh, not vexes. What are they called? Oh, they're after you. Are they going to come after me? They'll just stick to you, right? 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 The most useless mob in Minecraft. The Vex. All I want is a creeper, man. Just give me a creeper. Oh, okay, cool. I'm coming back. There's another creeper. There's so many mobs. There's a lot of mobs. 
Ah, uh, the spider. Okay, you have spider protection. That's good. I didn't know you just had to take a potion out of the thing to get the achievement. I'm gonna throw all of my extra stuff in the absolute center of the room. Wither Gober. Inventory is full. Can you hold six more potions or three more potions? Sorry, three more potions. Oh, sorry about that. There you go. Can, can you hold three more? Okay, we will go to the nether roof now and walk in a direction for like 30 minutes. Oh, do you have enough obsidian to build another portal? That would be... That would be useful. Because the obby is... I don't have any obby because we didn't really mine any portals. Okay, so we need a couple more. I'll grab my doomed pickaxe. Oh wait, I just realized. It's gonna be difficult to get more. How can we get just a couple more obsidian? Seven, two more it is we need. I'm thinking. I think I could go down and grab the uh, portal. You need five, Abby? Okay, yeah, I can grab the portal down in the cave. Wherever the cave is. I'll get it. I'll get it. It's fine. I'll get it. As soon as I figure out how the heck I get to the cave. Okay, so that's where we come down. I don't go down here. I go this way, I think. And then we go this way? No, we don't go that way. Bruh. I'm gonna I'm gonna find this this oh well there we go. We run
I gotta remember where the portal is now. It seems I can't remember where the portal is located. This is unfortunate. I will keep looking. It's a possibility it is this way, though I highly doubt it. It is indeed not this way. I'm gonna find this portal if it's the last thing I do. I had my shield up. Oh, I hear... Th oh wait, no, that was that lava. Um, I have bread. A lot of bread. It's two stacks of bread. I'm not sure why slash rules don't work. Literally, I just need a lava pool. I have the water bucket. I found some lava, but it's not source lava. All I want's a lava pocket. <laughs> oh, finally. Is this the one with the portal? I don't think it is, but it yet it needn't matter because How many did you say you needed? Interesting. Is 
Yes, that's how survival works, I'm pretty sure. Five Avi. Okay, I've got five now. Yeah, I know. That's what I said when I died with 20 levels. Before we go, I kind of want to grab a new pickaxe or a sword. Wonderful. I have the new sword. Probably have extras in this chest if I don't. I have two swords on me that I didn't even realize. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's that'll be good. We we might need that. Okay. Ah, I <laughs> I'm gonna go in a loop until I kill myself. Okay. I'll head to the nether roof, you can teleport. And we will head in a direction. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be a lot of food. Just do it for you. Yep, this is going to be some long travel. Okay, we're going to head in this direction from the portal. I'm just going to put this down for a marker. Oh, I wasn't in your range. No. Well, I'll splash one on me then. Okay. We're just going to head in this direction now. For a long, long time. How are you moving faster? Bro, he's just numing faster. Did Oh, I was only given potion of swiftness. I don't have Oh, I didn't splash myself with the speed too. That's why you're faster. Well, let's just go until they run out. There is somebody new. Welcome. If you're in the stream, that is. What are you doing? Why are you going backwards? Don't go fat back. Don't go backwards, man. We gotta keep going forward. Also, does your, uh... Yes, this is cool. Does hunger run out slower with... Ooh, new biome. What are you doing? Bro, you gotta... Mm. You gotta wait to splash them until we're all in the same radius. The reason why we made splashes is so that we could all get uh, spedded. We're chugging.
Is it seven per one in the... In the nether? Hang on, let's take a break here for a second. Eight blocks in the overworld. Oh, it's eight to one? I thought it was seven to one. What? What's surprising to ye? Yeah, I've seen more. Uh, which direction were we heading? Oh, this direction? Are you sure? I hope you're keeping track of the coordinates at least. <laughs> we have speed too, but we're just both walking backwards. <laughs> What, keeping track of the coordinates? Just so that, you know, we can guesstimate how far we're actually going. Also, I can't show coordinates on stream because then it would leak coordinates, and that's not good. Hang on, let me, let's stand for just a second. I need to check something. Where'd you... Oh, you're right here. Okay. We're going this way now? Right? Oh, okay. He knows. He knows where to go. What? No, we're just gonna go. I'd like to hit, like, at least a million in overworld cords. On just an axis. Be nice if we got some horses up here. Those would probably be faster, but what are you going to do? Oh, what? I don't get that achievement. Bruh. What is that achievement for? Explore all nether biomes. I'm sure I'll get that. I'm sure I have to get that. What biome is this? Is this a soul sand biome fog? I've never seen a fog like this. Oh, man, we're back into a new biome. How many nether biomes are there? Oh, uh, oh, there you are. Okay. I, I see you. Just walk in the same direction. We'll, we'll eventually find each other. Purple, oh, enderman biome. Yeah. What? What? 
Bruh. <laughs> I haven't been to the... Red Warped Forest yet. So if we hit that, then I'll get the achievement too. Also, is my in-game sound not working? It could be because of this. I just can't hear my in-game sound. Can you hear my in-game sound on the stream? You can. Huh. Hang on a second, let me relaunch Minecraft stream go blank for a moment let me let me just get the game reopened and then I'll be back all right I know, but I can't hear my in-game sounds. I still can't hear my in-game sounds. Bruh. But I liked Minecraft noises. <coughs> yeah, it's still going too. Keep track of which way we have to go. Let me go to... Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um... Um, bruh, sound control panel, there we go. No, that's not it. Fixing sound problems, no. Bruh. Well, I guess I just can't hear Minecraft now. Let's, let's keep going then. I need to... To yeah, yeah, splash us. Okay, cool. Which direction are we going now? Yo, we can zoom with these. Holy moly. Let me tab back over to Minecraft or uh, the stream real quick. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. Oh, what? Did it already run out? Mine already ran out. Huh? One minute, 30 seconds. That's like nothing. Yeah, th I think the... How do you still have speed too? <laughs> Yeah, let's reset. There we go. Yeah, this is going to get us really far. So we need to 
travel 80,000 blocks to get 800,000 blocks out. So we need to travel roughly... Wait, is that right? 1 to 8. No, it's not. So 1,000 blocks is 80... Th er, 1,000 blocks is 8,000 blocks. 10,000 blocks is 80,000 blocks. A hundred thousand blocks is eight hundred. Yeah. Oh, okay. A hundred thousand, and then. So we have to do like two hundred thousand blocks in the nether-ish to get above one million. Hundred k blocks. So we need a hundred and thirty thousand to get pretty much oh, I want to get a million though oh my speed's almost out I've got another speed too uh, we're traveling 80,000 blocks because we want to get away from spawn So that when new people are spawning in this server, we don't have to deal with their persistent raiding of bases. They'll just walk away pretty much. And base so far away that they can't reach us. So we'll be doing this for about the next maybe 10 minutes. I don't know. Who knows? It'll also be nice because if the server ever updates versions, um, we can keep certain chunks unloaded. So if they add like new biomes or whatnot, we can just load some new chunks for the new version. It'll just overall be nicer without other people bugging us. Are you good back there? Oh. Soul Valley? Well, I will eventually pass over it. Eventually. What Y level is the nether roof? I've never looked. Oh, I'm out of spec. Doesn't the world height go to three, 310 now? Meaning you could build, like, an, a really big base on another roof. You're, you're out of speed. Yeah, just do a speed one. They last longer. Yeah, speed one's definitely more worth than speed two. I don't know what the chances are for a, uh, I don't know how many of those new, uh, ancient cities spawn. I wonder if there's, like, a limit, like, the stronghold where there's only a certain amount per world. Oh, I'm lagging a lot. Okay, I'm back. It's fine, you can keep going. I'll hop up to you. Okay, so that's that's actually good, because then we could find an ancient city. Well, that would also make sense, because there are those broken music disc things. Oh, this is a new biome. I haven't been in this one yet. Those, um, yeah, the discs that are broken that you have to combine to make a music disc, which is just such a stupid concept. Because then you're going to end up getting, like, 30 of the shards that you don't want and not be able to find the other ones. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, this was a soul valley, yeah. Nice. I'm trying to think. We should probably... 
Ugh. You know, there's too many biomes, because I love to be next to all the biomes. Especially, like, my main one is the desert, and the swamp is also really nice. Because you can make a witch farm with the swamp, and the desert's just overall nice for sand, emeralds, all that stuff. Oh, you don't? I mean, it's not hard to get. All you have to do is go up on the nether roof, roof and walk in a direction for five minutes. Yeah, but we want to find a new swamp biome that's like a oh, uh, ways away from the uh, the spawn area. I wish you could... It'd be nice. I guess if you plugged in a controller, you could probably talk while running. I don't know. It would be a cool feature to be able to actually type while doing an action. Useful, too. Oh. Swamps are, yeah, hard to get. Hard, hard to find, sorry, not get. Hard to find. In my solo survival worlds, I've only found a handful of them. Like, maybe two or three out of hundreds of worlds. What are you going to do, though? You just got to find them. <laughs> Slime, that was the big thing. Slime chunks. Okay. That sounds good. So what, we're like a fifth of the way there? Third. Yeah, that's not terrible. This this isn't taking as long as I remember it. Have you found the extreme mountains biome yet? No, no, um, I think the extreme mountains biome just spawns over, t or underneath another biome, and it just adds huge mountains. I don't know if they actually count it as a, like, a biome for the achievement, though. Because... Hmm... Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the mountains. They're just crazy big.
Nah, we're going more than 5k. What's 100k blocks in the nether equivalent to? What are you trying to find? We're just... We're just... Oh, speed's out. Well, I'll eat the food then. Oh, I didn't do that. Bruh, 40k is nothing. We need 1 million. I would really like to try and use TNT dupers to, like, bomb a huge um, area out in the, um, when we make our new base. Oh, new biome again. The TNT bombers, I'd like to make some pretty interesting structures. I'd also like to overmake mob farms and whatnot. But yeah, I've never actually made a TNT doofer before because I never got that far into a survival world before. Never got to that point. Oh, are you guys just... Oh, there you are. Black Purse Marine? Teleport to me. I mean, you, you stopped walking the type, so... Halfway to a million or halfway to a hundred K? Other you're going the wrong way. Other way. Turn around. I was facing backwards. Y you're hopping the wrong way. N not you, Oog, but... Uh, I don't think so. You should probably... Yes, I do. Here. Um, I don't think so, because I was hopping in this direction originally. Are you sure? You need to double check that, that we're not going backwards. Because I was hopping... Okay, then. I'm teleporting. Okay. I was right. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was right. I knew it, because I was hopping the original direction. I turned around for a moment, and I was hopping backwards just because I wanted to. I knew it. Um, yeah, an ocean monument would be nice. You said you wanted black prismarine? 
or just prismarine in general. That's gonna take a lot of sand to drain the the farm. There is a b when when was that added? I don't remember there being black prismarine. Huh. Does it look cool? Better look cool. I like prismarine crit uh um lant or sea lanterns. One of my favorite blocks. Also one of the few blocks that actually have an animation on them. gonna get out there. Ocean monument, huh? I wish, I wonder how the biome generation works. I wonder if you can get like uh, multiple biomes in the same region. Uh, more than like three. I think I've seen three biomes like go up against each other. Could you get more though? Is there a way you could get, like, all 12 biomes in, like, a pie chart fashion? What are the chances? I mean, it's not just seed. You could probably find it anywhere in the world. My speed's out. Hmm. What's the most biomes you've seen collide with other biomes? Uh, like in the same, I would say the same like nine by nine chunk area. Six biomes? That's a lot. What you make of there? Right, we go. Oh. Into the unknown. Ooh, one thing I really want to make is so when I back back when I played Skyblock, I made a slot machine. Oh, this was revolutionary. The server, honestly, the server's redstone was pretty messed up, but we made do with what we had. We made a slot machine, the version one, and Hopper tick speed was kind of messed up too. But if ho Hopper tick speed was normal, um, it would be, it would work really well. I want to try and make a slot machine. On, or not a slot machine, it's just a casino type. I don't know, you put you put an item in and it has a chance to give you a better item or a worse item. 
Yes, yes, yes. The original, the original, not the new updated ones that would give you like a bunch of crap. I'm talking about the original that would give you like maybe one or two items. And I, I want to see, I want to remake that on this server just for the fun of it. Because, oh, those were great. I, I lost, I lost a lot of money on some of them, but, um, especially like the first one, I lost a lot of money, but it was just a fun experience because, I mean, you don't see that often in a skyblock. You don't see like a true redstone <laughs> slot machine that, uh, just, I'll do anything to make myself stick out on skyblock servers though, so. Oh yeah. I don't know if you saw the latest one that we built. Uh, it was right before I got banned. It was huge and it caused server TPS to tank. It was so bad. I didn't use it that often, but it, it had capacity for like, I think it was like 550 minions it could do. And we filled it up. Uh, we did like 200 minions on it and we had them all running at one point. It was crazy. Yeah, I was banned. Did you hear that I got banned? I mean, I would still be playing there if I wasn't banned. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, this it was a great it was a nice server to play on, but it was just kind of a trash. Oh, I've dealt with this many times before. This is nothing. I've had people take way longer to type. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you the story right now. I'll go over the story again on how I got banned from freaking sky crap. Um, we can talk while we jump. I mean, it's not that he let hackers join, it's just he had a terrible anti-cheat system and his staff was never online and his staff really didn't do anything for a long time. Um, but that was part of the reason why I left. So I'll go over it again. If anybody remembers Anir, he was on my island. Um, he was super amazing guy. Um, he built some pretty amazing stuff. He actually, he was building his own mall on my island. One of the reasons why he joined was just because I was wealthy and he could make money just by AFKing farms that I had and make a lot of money. And um, I had a plan that I schemed with him to rule the spawner market. So we would buy all the spawners that people sold and then upsell them for like 100k or so. And we would buy in bulk. Like we would buy stacks and stacks of spawners at a time. I think at one point we had like six stacks of skeleton spawners. And we were also trying to get more iron golem spawners because you know how hard those were to come across. Those were impossible to get your hands on. But um, I was actually talking to him about Breathless when I was working on that server. And I was talking to him about Skyblock in island chat nonetheless. Okay, so I was slash is chat, right? So, like, nobody else, yeah, um, nobody else in the server, you know, would see me talking about my own server, right? And so I was talking to him. He was already a mod on the Discord server, by the way, and our server had not yet even released yet. So apparently Chelsea had seen that I um, posted in chat that... I was talking about another server, and I'm pretty sure she assumed that um, 
I was trying to get him to join, but I don't think she realized that he was a moderator on my Discord server. So she ended up permanently banning me for advertising nonetheless to my own island member, who, by the way, had been my island member for over five months. And um, I went to the owner. I went to the owner of the server, and I was like, hey, just a heads up, I got falsely banned because... And I was super, you know, straightforward with it. I was like, hey, I got falsely banned um, from your server because I was talking to a island member about a server that I was possibly uh, going to start working on soon. And he said he can't do anything about it. Go talk to the admin. And so I went to the admin that had banned me. I messaged them on Discord. And I said, okay, what do I have to do to get unbanned? I was, and they were like, oh, nothing, you're banned. And I was like, oh. So what I ended up doing was... Um, oh, hang on, I'm getting a lot of flag back right now. Okay, there we go. So what I ended up doing was uh, sending them screenshot information from Discord. Pretty, Actually, some pretty private stuff of when he first joined the Discord server and when he was promoted to moderator on my server, which was three months before I had been banned. And so I told him, I was like, hey, I was an island chat. I didn't... I didn't uh, just announce that I was working on another server to everybody that was currently online. And so he messaged the owner, and I'm pretty sure them and the owner talked about it for like maybe a minute or so. And the admin decided, nothing I can do, sorry. I went back to the owner, I was like, so there's nothing I can do to get unbanned? And he was like, no, nothing you can do to get unbanned. And I was like, okay, then I'll just leave the community. And I started working full-time on the Breathless server, which, honestly, the Skyblock was nice, but nobody else helped me make it. I was kind of soloing the entire server, pretty much. So, um, after that, I'll tell you some funny stuff. After that, I did some shady business with some other players, because, you know, I was extremely wealthy on the server. Um, I had gone from like last place on the island leaderboard to like top four and I think now I'm still top two on the leaderboard for Skyblock yeah what's up <laughs> 10k definitely let's go 10k more I can go 10k more. Twenty K would be That wouldn't even be No no no, we need to go a lot more to reach a million. Anyways, I'll keep talking. So I was uh at the point of where I had a lot of assets on my island. I had like thirty something iron golem spawners. You know, hand, shulkers and shulkers of other spawners. I also had, um, I was pretty, I'm pretty sure I was the person that had the most Vindicator spawners on the server. I had five Vindicator spawners, which, like, those things were so rare. And I, honestly, I wanted to get my hands on all of them. There was only two other people on the server that knew, that, that I knew that had them. Uh, they were really rare. I ended up making some pretty good deals on those, I think. And those would those would net me like probably a stack of emeralds every thirty minutes. Yeah, that's fine. We can go I'll go hundred and twenty five K. Hundred and twenty five K is nothing. Isn't World Borders thirty mil so thirty one million? Yeah, yeah, let's go 125k. Anyways, I'll keep talking now so that... Oh, my speed's out again. Okay, so... I had a lot of assets on this island, you know. And... Oh, let me make sure I'm going the right way. And, um, you know, I was kind of permanently banned from the server. Couldn't get unbanned, right? And so I knew a lot of people uh, on the shady black market. 
So I ended up selling all of my assets, uh, all the Iron Golem Spawners. I talked it over with all the island members, too. They said, yeah, they wouldn't play on the server anymore because I was banned. And there was, like, uh, there was actually a bunch of riots and stuff that were going on, too, for the server. It was hilarious um, after I got banned because I was, you know, a part of the community. I helped a lot of people on the server start off and get, get a bunch of money. I remember just TPing people to the center of my cactus farm and letting letting them sit there for like 30 or an a 30 minutes or an hour and they would make like 500k in in just a few minutes cuz I I mean that thing would fill up your inventory in seconds. It was retarded how fast that cactus farm was. So, I ended up selling all of my stuff to another person who um we gave we gave an account that was on the island to him. And we let him pretty much just take everything from the island that he wanted to. And I ended up selling the island for uh, 150 US dollars. With permission from all the other island members. They didn't really seem to care. So, um, then I stopped just entirely playing on that server, communicating with any of the other people I played with on the server. Um, and then like a week later, I noticed I was kicked off of the Discord server because I stayed in the Discord server. Uh, but then they they finally like cracked down. Yes, 150 real life dollars for the island. It's funny what some people would do back then. That was when the server was in its peak, though. So, yeah, I know it was it was a pretty good deal too. But I ended up giving him like almost over a billion dollars worth of like spawners and whatnot. And he got, I'm pretty sure he got a full shulker of, like, the holiday swords and um, axes. It sucks I got banned, though, because in my inventory I have, like, six rank books. Like, I have a titan rank book, I had god rank, rank books, demigod rank books. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyways, um, a month goes by. And... The owner messaged me and said, hey, you can pay $50 to get unbanned. And I was like, haha, you're funny. It's only $10 on your website. And $50 he wanted because he knew I would pay. Anyways, I started scheming with some other guys. And DJ, the owner of this server, ended up uh, purchasing $3,000 US dollars worth of items on his store distributing them to the economy and whatnot and then charge back uh use uh charge backing the fun on paypal that's why paypal got removed from the store because he charged back three thousand dollars on and he specifically waited until uh, the owner's birthday to do it so that kind of sucked for him after that um i didn't really check on the server for like six months to almost a year actually i didn't check on the server uh, i had worked on breathless breathless got shut down and I kind of just was taking a break from Minecraft. Um, and after that, really, you know, I, I came back to it. And now I'm doing this. I'm working on this server, I guess. But um, I had one of my friends log on and check who's still on my island. I had him log on and check. And apparently I'm number two now for top islands or something retarded like that. It's number two or number three. I don't know how I'm farther ahead. Uh, apparently there was a dupe glitch that got released and the economy kind of tanked because of the duping. And at least that's what I heard. And um, I'm still top island and everything's still there. Except for the spawners. All the spawners are gone. The cactus farm is still there. And that's that's really... That was my staple... I did the cactus farm. That was the biggest thing that I did. Other things were pretty cool, though. Um, I just made everything too big, really. <laughs> it's just my nature to make things overly engineered and massive. But, you know, end to end, I, I really probably lost money on selling the island because I did spend a good amount of money on the server. Let's see. I spent 70 US dollars getting the rank, the Zeus rank. I spent Oh no, I might have actually broken even cuz I Yeah, it is one heck of the 
<laughs> this is my Minecraft history. I could start from the beginning. That's just one year of history. I have been playing since 2011. So I'm pretty dang old to the community. Though this account was created in 2018, I think. I have another account that's older that I haven't logged on to. I actually haven't migrated it yet, but what am I going to do? I, I mean, the PC it's on right now is corrupted, so I have to dig files out and whatnot to find all the stuff. But I, I really had fun on that server, though. Uh, it's mainly because there was, you know, a lot of people to interact with, and that's that's what I kind of want to see happen with this server. I would like to see a bunch of people, you know, join and have fun on the server. <laughs> you think I use T Launcher? All of my accounts are premium. I have like 19 premium accounts. Or more, I don't know. I have lost count at this point. I never le used T-Launcher. I bought all those accounts at the, like, the local freaking game store. <laughs> I remember walking in and just taking the whole freaking thing of cards off of their display case and just popping it on the counter. The guy looks at me and he's like, why? And I was like, I don't know, maybe I'll give some of them away. I did give a lot of accounts away when I was playing on that server. I think I gave like six accounts away to people. Like close, close friends that were playing on the server. Island members and whatnot. Negative 13k. No, we're going to 125k. <laughs> I have enough food. I still got two more. I got 100 more bread. I will definitely last. If not, I'll just hold the W key overnight. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. Hmm. Is it premium? Yeah. I have... All of my accounts have migrator capes. Which I'm... I don't know if I'm happy about that or kind of disappointed that Microsoft, my, uh, you know, pushed all the accounts to a new pretty much launcher, essentially. But what are you going to do? Up speeds out. Time to activate another. We get the speed two. Oh, Oog's back. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you guys this. I have the premium account name Cacti Lord now. Like, uh, I got this account. Once the stream delay catches up, you'll see. Yes, I got that. I have that premium account username. It's pretty funny. I was like, is this available? And I looked and I was like, it is available right now. Oh, I'm so getting that. <laughs> Yes, it does. I wish I had it while I was on uh, a server that I had a cactus farm built on. It would be so much better to flex that.
I remember there was one guy that tried to compete with me with Cactus Farm. He was trying to make a uh, bigger one than me. He never did. Mine was way too big. I mean, yeah, but it wouldn't be worth it on this server. We gotta find, like, a... Even on this Skyblock server, it would probably be nice. Ouch, why you hit... Bruh, stop. Hey, can you help me, please? I'm being attacked. Bruh. I can definitely outrun you, though. My speed skills are superior. Also, I have nothing worth anything on me anyways. I have my compass, a lot of bread, and my speed potion. I don't know. All I know is I can keep running for a long time. No, 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 it's fine. I will outsped him with my sped potions. I have a lot of sped potions left. Oh yeah, he's already out of my <laughs> He's already out of my render distance. Okay, I'll uh, accept TP now. Oh, there he is. You can accept whenever you'd like. He's not going to catch up to me. It's useless. Yada 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 yada. Yada yada. Useless. Come on, content's content though. No, I won't stop. Okay, fine. You want me to come to you? We battle to the death now. No, I'm not speed potting you. This is war. This is Sparta. Oh. Wait, did the hearts not transfer? Bro, that must be an issue with the uh, the devs. I'll be to continue sprinting in my direction. Yeah, yeah. But he should have... This is a lifesteal server, so I'll have to actually look into that later today. But he was supposed to lose a heart permanently. Lifesteal's fun, my guys. What? Wait, oh. I don't know, man. He's messed up in the head. He's got to rethink his thoughts. I see a head. What does that mean? Hmm. 
<clears throat> one fun story from the server. It was actually the only time I've ever gotten scammed. There was a guy that wanted to sell me a fake account that was Zeus. So I paid him the money on PayPal and then immediately charged it back. It was kind of funny. Because he was like, oh, I actually got away with it. I'm going to disconnect from the Discord call and and uh, block him on Discord and log out of Minecraft. And I was like, oh, okay. I'll just take my money back then. We'll have a good day. Bro, I have the superior PvP skills, though. I'm just better at the game. <laughs> I hope I'm still running in the right direction. I probably am. 5 a.m., that's nothing. That's nothing. I'll probably stream for another hour. Oh, yeah, he wants to teleport? Okay, I'll let him teleport. We all have different times. It's 11 p.m. for me right now. Get otherworlded. I'm on the complete opposite side of the world. Just four times. I mean, that could be considered betrayal. Yeah, he TP killed you four times for each hit. Uh, no, it's not. Well, no, it's not. Especially if it's teleport killing. I mean, oh, well, he's gone now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rules on the server are pretty, like, just open, like, you can't hack. I mean, it's mainly PvP hacking, because you can't x-ray. X-ray doesn't even work on this server. Wait, how did he not TP? Did he just spawn by you? Huh, how does that work? Did he put a bed down or something? Do beds not blow up in the nether? Hmm. We'll have to figure it out. Beds do blow up here. I wonder if you right-click a bed, though, does it set it as your spawn? Yeah, I mean, I think he realized he kind of was just, like, wouldn't even get to touch me again after, <laughs> after my spedding. I sped too fast for him, and he realized he would never catch up. I think he realized after I was able to eat food and uh, regain my saturation that there was nothing he could really do. What's the new bed mechanic? That's those, uh, what are they called? Yeah, respawn anchors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do those work in the overworld too? Oh, really? Yo, we can go bed mining in the overworld. Okay, I'm on my last speed pot now. It's the 
Spud 2. Yeah, I think it would have been faster if we tamed like a uh, god horse. Oh, thank you. Yep, that's good. That'll last me. Because, uh, don't the horses have pretty much infinite stamina? And then you can move as fast as, uh, speed 3 also. I'm pretty sure with a max horse. You know what we could have done though? We could have just built an ender portal launch machine. Yeah, I know that. You have to breed them to get the um, speed horse. But we could have just built the ender portal cannon. I'm pretty sure those can shoot you up to like 45,000 blocks in one direction. I've never tried building one of those though. The most I've done is a tic-tac-toe game uh, using displays. I helped Auto Gear build one of those. It was pretty cool. Actually, he, we should have probably done it on stream, but I didn't stream back then, so. Oh, that's fixed? What? You can't launch an Ender Pearl with a s slime uh, piston mi launcher machine? Whatever you want to call it. That's kind of sad. I was talking, yeah, the the pearl launcher is um, pretty much you throw a pearl in a certain, um, you build this machine and you throw the pearl in a specific uh, pixel spot. And what it'll do is it'll launch it in a direction. And then you can boost which direction it launches. So theoretically, you could have the pearl go as long as you want. You just have to build the machines every certain amount of blocks. There's a whole math equation you can use for it. But... Um, Oh good, this is speed one. Oh. But it's actually, the machine was really cool. I watched a whole, they have a whole YouTube video on it. And I'm pretty sure, I am i don't remember what server it was on. It was on a public server. But yeah, it launched you 45,000 blocks in one direction. And I'm not talking about, yeah, the logout thing that I think you're thinking of. But um, this is like just a standard it's pretty much a tnt cannon for ender pearls i would say and it uses tnt to launch the pearl faster tnt and slime balls and slime blocks pushing the pearl and you go 45,000 blocks in none less than seven seconds it's pretty insane no 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 nether portal it's just the you go to the nether roof and you build the thing I guess it would work at block height too, but I mean, why would you build a machine that's supposed to get you thousands of blocks in seconds in the overworld? We will make it. Did Oog leave after we killed him? <laughs> after you killed him like four times? Did he rage? He couldn't successfully kill me. I would have just TP back with like full diamond though. This is not my good set. This is my Explorer's TM set. And I have literally the only thing worth on me is the pickaxe you sold me. Which, I mean, is it really worth that much anymore, though? Because diamonds, you know, I have a lot of those. Is a ender chest just obsidian surrounding an ender eye? I wouldn't know. I haven't, I haven't played the game in here, guys. I don't know anything anymore. It's just obsidian around an ender eye, right? It's got to be.
I'm not a PvPer either. I'm. Some people say I'm decent. I, I am decent at it, but I'm not like pro gamer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a chest, except using wood, you use obby and you put an ender eye in the middle. That that sounds about right. I'm not the greatest PvPer. I I am a grinder. I will get things done. Big things. Yeah, we have to fix the funny losing hearts thing, because you know, I'll talk about that later to the owner. Oh, uh, do you know I'm making 100 days out of this? I don't know if I told you guys. I'm making, it's going to be a 100 days video. I'm going to whack the bread. 100 days on a lifesteal SMP. And this is going to be like 10 days worth of traveling, pretty much. No, not quite. A uh, hundred surviving a hundred days on a lifesteal SMP. I don't think anybody's made that yet. Ooh, I had another really good video that I am gonna work on soon. I have footage for it. I just need to edit it a little bit, and I think I need to record like probably three more hours of footage. Oh, I'm stuck again. Okay, I'm unstuck. Um, my other idea was a hundred days in a lush cave where pretty much we would spawn in the world and wander around. I, of course, I'd do it with somebody else, but we'd spawn in that world and we would have three days to get to a lush cave. If not, it would void the run and we'd start over until we do it properly. So we have three days to gather all the resources that we need on the surface in order to survive underground, which means like food and wood and maybe sand and whatnot because that stuff is pretty difficult to come across in the uh, lush lush cave and then we would just go down into the lush cave and just survive a hundred days oh you do have an idea yeah you can just send it in uh, send it in discord for me later but again these these take a long time to edit because think about it I record I was doing two hours of footage every day and uh, currently, I'm only on the third stream uh, of footage. So it definitely takes a long time to... Uh, ...record all of this and the editing, honestly. So here's my theory on doing these 100 days whatnot. It probably takes you about three times as long to edit it as it does to record it. So I'm going to spend like a full week's worth of hours editing the video. So I could only probably get one out per month. And I've seen, you know, of course you guys have probably seen other YouTubers that do the 100 days. And I know one guy was like uploading once a month consistently, a 100 days video. He would do 100 and then 200 and then 300 and then 400 and 500. It would just go on and on. And he said he had to stop because it was like mentally challenging him because of how long it takes to do these. But um, I'd be cool doing different 100, 100 days ideas, I think. Yeah, I think that's who it is. Yeah. Yeah. He was the one that was building, like, the really cool, like, pillar-style mega base. And he always lost his bees. They would always despawn on him. I really think the 100 days will get me some decent amount of views. I'd, I'd like at least 1,000 views on the first video that I do for 100 days. I would be pretty happy with that. 1,000 views, not subscribers, just views. I need a ton of watch hours, though, to uh, get the freaking um, monetization. Like, uh, it's going to take me longer to get watch hours than it is subscribers, because you need 4,000 watch hours. And I only have, like, 30, maybe. That's why these streams are really good, because they count towards the watch hours. Wow, negative 20k. This is nothing. I could, I could do this for hours and hours. Yeah, once I get to a thousand subs, I might actually start taking this seriously. But I definitely, this is kind of a hobby for me, really. It's not really a 
me gonna be a big YouTuber one day. No, I don't believe in that. I can make more money doing other things, to be honest. Okay, sounds sounds good. I'll just keep walking in a direction then. I will also chat while going. Is that all of them? Okay, sounds good. I will keep running and talking then. Um yeah, my plans for the future are to stream at least once per week and upload a video once per month. It might not be Minecraft per se, but again, I'm not solely a Minecraft person. I enjoy, and I'm sure other people enjoy, venturing out, you know, playing a couple of other games. Of course, the genre of games I play is pretty much the same. I play a lot of grinding style you know, like Hydrogenier and S Space Engineers, that one's, a lot of people haven't heard of that one. I did dabble in some Rust for a long time, but it's really not my style of game. Uh, the PvP hold style is just not really my thing. Uh, there's also another game I play that I really want to stream. It would be cool once I have a bit of a bigger audience to stream it, and then I would edit it afterwards and post a video on it. There's a lot of ideas that I could throw out there, but um, it all starts here with this stream and this video that I'm working on, I suppose. I have privated a lot of my other videos, though, just because uh, bad content, right? I, I don't want people to look... I, I get a lot of people do keep their stuff like you can scroll a lot of YouTube channels you can scroll back and see their history of what they used to do a lot of big like Minecraft YouTubers that have changed genres or whatnot you can scroll back and see that they did a lot of Minecraft or they did like some Minecrafters have done like Call of Duty crap and they didn't get that many views um, again I, I'll keep my old videos that are still making views for me but uh, all the ones that are pretty much just me and terrible editing skills, I I probably won't keep uh, on the channel just because I want high quality. And just having like right now, I have four people viewing the stream, and that's that's really helpful because it it'll net me four times the watch hours, so every one second I'm gaining four seconds of uh, watch hours, every one minute I'm gaining four minutes, every one hour I'm gaining four hours, which is really good for watch hours. So meaning I'm streaming for just over two hours now, so that's going to be eight watch hours added to my collection, and I need 3,000, or 4,000, sorry, I need 4,000 watch hours. Future plans... Is that a question or just a statement? Because I'd be willing to share some of my future stuff, future ideas and whatnot. Oh, future vids. I would like to do some comedy here and there. I get a lot of comments that I have dry comedy because I have a very monotone voice. And it actually kind of reminds me, like it reminded me of Technoblade when I first started watching him when, when he was doing Bed Wars videos. His YouTube channel had less than, or, uh, less than 500k subs when I started watching him. And he had a, you know, he was a very dry humor type person, similar to me. And I'm, I'm not going to compare myself to him in any way, but um, my friends sometimes, you know, chuckle at my dry humor. I actually, it's pretty cool. I have a friend that sounds exactly like Technoblade, like 
I'm not joking you. You would not be able to tell the difference between him and Technoblade. He won't. It's true. And I hope they keep him in Minecraft for forever. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys heard they added him to the MOTDs, uh, which is pretty much the little words that pop up next to the Minecraft name when you launch the game. He's he's in the uh, he's in the MOTD. It says Technoblade never dies, and the MOTDs do not get removed once added usually. So he'll be in the MOTDs for a long time. I don't know about the thumbnail though. They might end up removing that for an update. I hope they don't though. I honestly I'd love to bring that friend back on stream. He sounds just like Technoblade. It's so funny. And I laughed about it before, again, before Technoblade passed away. I would always laugh about it. We would, we would call him Technoblade just because he sounded just like him. <laughs> I'll have to reach out to him in the next couple of weeks, and we'll have to get him on stream so that you guys can listen to him. Uh, future videos, again, I'd like to do some dry humor stuff. I'll also probably be working closely with Autogear as he does his uh, animations. Why? Just because he's gone? His videos are still there. We have his videos to remember him. You gotta think positively. I do kind of, I am kind of sad that he died at the point of where he did because I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'll stop talking about it. I'll stop talking about it. We won't talk about it. We won't mention it anymore. We will talk about future content, the original topic. Really, that's cool. That That is pretty neat. Um. Hmm. I, I just moment of silence. Sorry. <laughs> I did some pretty funny videos on Auto Gear's channel. Um. Uh, honestly, a lot of those videos sh should probably get more views than um, what he actually got on them, because there's some pretty funny content in them, and I think they they were really worthy videos when they came out uh, back in the day. But he he didn't really get as much attention as me, uh, mainly because I heavily advertised my channel. Second batch, but we're not splash. I hope you have inventory space. Um, yeah, I would say I have some inventory space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve spaces. Are you doing it in batches? Batches of potions. Which way is the direction? Can you tell me which way is the direction we need to go? I, I forgot. I was just walking for so long. Okay, my inventory is full now. Which direction? Okay. Do you advertise your channel? Not anymore. Like, I don't advertise at all anymore. I'll just take, like, whatever viewers YouTube gives me at this point. I really don't need the advertising. Uh, I was modding a couple of servers that are no longer around anymore. Uh, Discord servers that would do the Me6 advertise or whatnot, and I would get put on there just because I was a mod or something. But that never really got me anything. I did used to advertise my channel a lot, though, on, like, servers, Minecraft servers that I would play on. And that's where, like, pretty much subscribers tend to, I would say about 50 or 60 were all um, through advertising. I was actually pretty stoked when I hit 100 subs. I never thought it was something I could accomplish, you know, just by posting the crap that I posted back then. But... Um, I don't, I don't plan on advertising anymore, really. I'll just, I enjoy playing with other people. That's my one thing. As long as I'm, <sighs> 100 days Skyblock? Really? This stream? 
Oh, 100 days high pixel skyblock. I don't know why that showed up. I don't even have high pixel in my like tabs or whatnot. I just have like it's just 100 and then I have days in my uh tags. And that's about it. This server's public, so anybody can join the server. Um that's the one thing I wanted to do. I don't know why the algorithm's doing that. <laughs> I have been bouncing a little bit. After uh, streaming for four days in a row, I have bounced a little bit. The algorithm is on crack. We all know it is. It's, yeah, it's retarded. Actually, this is the first time I've gotten some US viewers. Be I, even though I do live in the US, I haven't really, because of the Minecraft server I used to play on, I haven't gotten that many um, US people. I would get a lot of EU and um, Asia people. Just because of how I streamed. And it's actually pretty convenient because usually I would, I would do overnighters back when I was in school. <laughs> For Minecraft, I would, I would play Minecraft overnight on like school days and whatnot and I would kind of just be there all the time some people started to ask if I actually slept no I didn't for a long time yeah it probably was the hundred days I mean this is this is pretty much raw hundred days content right here and I know a lot of people after they posted their first video started streaming it I decided I wanted to stream all of it mainly because um, I want to see I want to show people that I'm not actually I know a lot of people will do fake hundred days and some people hide it well but other people are pretty bad at hiding it but I just want to stream all of it so that people know that I'm not messing around We'll do everything here fairly with our two commands, teleport and home. We'll get it done. I will probably, since I am a programmer, I will probably make a plugin that displays the days in the corner of the screen. Fake 100 days. You catch a YouTuber that was faking it? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people just fake their stuff for content, and I want to make legit content, honestly. I, I But it'll be content I enjoy making. Um, like, like, this is pretty fun. I could do 100 days. I'd love to do, you know, 100 days in the lush cave. Minecraft's a game that I can play a lot. It's actually pretty crazy that... I have this much endurance for the game because a lot of other games I'll lose interest pretty quickly. Like I'll play a couple months and just it'll nose dive. You press F3 and it showed day one. I mean, the fact that this is a public server is we can't prove that I'm actually doing 100 days, which is probably more than 100 days because the server is probably thousands of days old by now, but um every week do you understand like that type of hang on is that even possible one six away from one mil in the overworld sounds good we'll keep hopping That's, that's, hang on, is that even, like, physically possible? One second, let's stand still. Let me pull up a calculator real quick. So it's roughly 23 minutes per day in Minecraft, I would say. So 23, oop, times 100 is 23,000 minutes or 38 hours of footage um, divided by is six hours of footage per day. Hmm. 20 minutes? Okay, okay, we'll do that math. So 20 times um, 100 is 2,000 divided by 60 
is 33 hours per day divided by six days in a week is 5.5 hours of recording per day. Again, I, I explained it takes pretty much three times the amount of time to edit a video, do voiceovers, add cutscenes, all of that hoo-ha, for it to be... That's just a reasonable, like, 100 days. Again, I get it if he was streaming five hours a day, because some people have no life and actually stream five hours a day. It's it's pretty crazy, but... Um, interesting. But that's, like, I would say pretty much that's inhumanely impossible, because you're going to have a life outside of streaming there's no way you spend a whole day mining iron I think there's only one point in the video that I spent a whole day mining and that was actually no I haven't even spent a whole day mining cause um yeah last stream that I did earlier today we did go mining for about maybe 30 minutes um but we ended up getting six stacks of iron uh, half a stack of diamonds, and my friend was obsessed with the axolotls, so he got a bunch of those too. <laughs> oh, the axolotls. That's crazy. I know, I'm gonna have mute background music, but the video itself that I'm gonna put out after I'm done streaming, which I think I need three more, three or four more videos for a stream. He had to catch them all. Yeah, he still doesn't have the blue one yet. He tells me about it every time we join calls before we start stream. He's like, we need to get the blue axolotl. I'm like, no, we need to focus on other things. We need to get, like, freaking base organized and all that crap. No, I need the axolotl. And I was like, you got the jukebox already. Can you just, like, be quiet? Not talk about it for, like... I, anyways, back to the video editing. I have, like, some... I think my longest day is probably... I actually add all the stuff that I do. Oh. Oh. All the stuff that I do, I go over for the day. I'll tell you what I do in the day. Even if I cut most of the content. But... It, again, it's going to be a nice video when it comes out. And for the fake one, I mean, I have a lot of cuts in mind because, but they're not like weird cuts. I actually line them up. And even when I log off of the server and log back on and say, because I have the clock in my uh, ninth hotbar. Um, I'll wait until the sun's aligned to actually start the video, which technically, I mean, some people would consider it cheating because, you know, I'm technically going a little bit further, but I like to make things line up. So it's also easier for the editing process because I can just drag and drop and edit right off the bat. I don't have to look for the time or the clock to be in a specific area and then cut there and then I'm cutting out a huge chunk of content. But... I expect that the 100 days video itself is probably going to come out close to the end of this month because I, ooh, I just lagged a lot. I'm still lagging. Okay. Yeah. I also include a lot of the times I go to sleep because we sleep a lot in the server. I, I add all of those parts in. Uh, when I sleep, even if it's just like maybe two seconds of uh, the viewer just seeing us lay down. Yeah, I, I do think the time-wise thing is really beneficial for both the... Oop. Are we stopped here? He's typing. Yeah. Yeah, you could join voice next time so that you don't have to type in chat. I'm just really ranting at this point. Yeah, time ways to keep viewer hooked is a big thing. Also, the music, like choosing different types of music for different days and, and specific scenarios of what we're doing. 
like when the guy when uh, SSN was uh, trying to kill me, I still don't understand why he was trying to kill me. But when he was trying to kill me back then, um, you know, that would be a great spot to add, you know, some intense music, right? Because I was low on health. I purposely did that, by the way. I was not um, accidentally getting low on health. That's not something I would do. I'm pretty cautious when it comes to that type of stuff. I was doing it for the content. Because, um, you know, it'd be a cool thing to add to the stream. Or the, the 100 Days video when I'm doing it. A lot of this, again, a lot of this nether roof stuff, because we've probably spent, according to the time, we've probably spent around three days hopping around in the nether. Um, all of it's going to get cut. Except for, like, the highlights of us ru running around in the nether or whatnot. But, yeah, you're not going to hear this voice at all. I also mute my stream voice and stream gameplay. I will just add sound effects over top of it. Because... Who wants to listen to me talking in a stream and in a video? The voice o the voiceovers sound a lot better because I think them through before I uh, record, which means there's a lot of less of the uh and ums in the video, which is really good. And that's just something you have to get over when you're streaming, I suppose. Like, I know a lot of the news people don't even stutter when it comes to the ands, ums. Yeah, I'm going to be going like... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be funny. I, I'll, I'll turn it into something interesting. I When I first started YouTube, the reason why I got big, though, was because of my tutorial videos. Because I would do like a tutorial on a server, how to make, you know, all the different ways to make money like as quickly as possible. And then other videos would be how to build this type of farm in this type of version. But definitely my friend Otto really played a part in me starting this specifically because I remember I started doing this specific scenario. Um, I might stream tomorrow. There's a possibility I will stream. It'd be earlier in the day though. It would probably be around... 9 or 10 in the morning. Yeah, I did. I made I made a magma cube video on that, and then I did an updated video because it was laggy-ish. Also, I had a better computer then. Well, see you later. Take care. Have a good time. And yeah, you'll definitely see me again. I'll be here and there. See ya. Well, um, I definitely... What, what was I talking about just a second ago? Get to remind me. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the magma cube. Um, I, I redid that video because it was laggy. I didn't have the correct PC equipment. I was running on like a crappy laptop when I first started. And like when I was first recording, it was on a crappy laptop that really couldn't run anything. But eventually I got enough money to buy like a sick gaming PC. And now I can run Mac shaders. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, the anti-cheat on the server is insane. I've been I got kicked for cheating when I first started my playthrough. I wasn't even cheating, but it's like really strict. I don't know how you got to the nether. I honestly thought the anti-cheat would prevent you from going to the nether roof. <laughs> It's like an updated version of popular MMOs skin, which I think his is a lot different. No, maybe it is similar. No, no, yeah, yours is definitely different. Sorry. Yeah, when people start chatting in the stream, um, your freaking, what's it called? Your viewer count goes up because the algorithm for the streaming I'm pretty sure it's different it recommends uh, 
viewers based on how active the chat is and how active the person is talking. So when I talk a lot, it gets more viewers, and when people are chatting, it gets more viewers. That's why you'll see a lot of the streamers' videos will get recommended to you when they're live, especially after watching another live stream. The algorithm will say, hey, this person has an active chat. They're talking in chat, interacting with chat. You can go watch this video. Usually the stuff doesn't interest me, though, that much. I mean, the pretty much only streamer I watch is Ludwig. Uh, specifically streamer. And that's just because, honestly, he makes decent content. Yeah, that's true. And it's always going to be bad because <laughs> the algorithm's always going to be bad because I have one of the most monotone voices in existence. I mean, I... I mm. Another one of my friends has a YouTube channel. He doesn't do games or anything. He does more real world, like fixing vehicles and, and pretty much around the house type stuff. But he has gotten so many views and it's based, I can tell you right now, it's based on how he talks. He um, has that enthusiastic, like almost spokesperson type voice. And his videos get like 30K views or whatnot. And it's just about like really specific fixing fixing things and that's about it really. And so people will go to that video and say, oh, and that's that's like the really difference between gaming and actual content on YouTube because he's making content that people will need. And like nobody, el nobody else has made content on the things that he does. And so a lot of the DIY people will go and watch those videos on YouTube to learn how to, you know, fix a random appliance or object. So when you make videos on that, you're guaranteed views, especially if nobody else has done it already, or if there's very few options out there. So a lot of the times, like, I remember we were doing, actually I did a video with him on one of my cars, and we had to replace a part that required us to pretty much tear out the entire interior, and uh, we were looking up videos on how to do it. And there was nothing, like absolutely nothing, especially on the type of model of car that I had. So we had to go to the dealership manual and all that and dig through. And we ended up, you know, doing a video on it. Though the video has never been posted. It's just kind of sitting on a computer somewhere, not edited yet. But it would have definitely gotten a couple hundred thousand views because um, I called up the dealership and they wanted to charge me $1,300 to fix it. I didn't want to pay that, so I did it myself for the amazing price of 150 and maybe a day's worth of work. But his YouTube channel is insane. I, he hasn't posted in two years, and I think he's at like he's still gaining subs every week. He's at like 600 or something weird like that. But a lot of his videos, he has like over 100k views on some videos. We must be pretty far. Okay. Sounds good. I'll just keep hopping then.
He's back. He can teleport, yeah. Sounds good. There we go. Oh, out of food now. I think the horse would be faster, in my opinion. I like playing with other people on Minecraft, though. It's entertaininger than playing by yourself. And I don't see how, like, solo people play all the time. Just a heads up, I will have to... <laughs> do -do -do -do. <laughs> Minecraft manhunt, but we run in one direction for two hours. Just a, yeah, just a heads up, I will have to end up uh, ending the stream here in a moment because I will need to get off um, because I have I have to at least wake up tomorrow at a reasonable time. I have to go talk with some customers and then, yeah, now that I'm n not in school, I have a life and I have a job and I need to make money. Um... It'll probably be in about 10 minutes, so we can definitely get another 1,000 blocks. You could probably teleport home. I'll just log this character in the nether. And then if I ever need to go back to my base when I log on tomorrow, I will... Uh oh, hang on. There we go. I will just teleport one of my alt accounts here and then teleport back home so that you know we stay I definitely like to do one block skyblock because our skyblock actually has that integration on the server. Why am I saying our D DJ's skyblock or this server skyblock has um, the integration of one block as well, which is actually really cool because um, there's a lot of items you can't get in the shop like bamboo and nether wart and shulker. Well, you can get shulkers from the um shulker spawner but that's really rare to get but i would like to end up doing 100 days on that server cuz it would be very interesting to uh play skyblock again i did play for a little bit on the server but um i didn't play too long I'm out of speed already. It's time to get loaded up with a couple more. I'll, I'll probably just be able to be on for one more speed. I'll have to keep an eye on the time. Okay, we're officially three days in the nether. <laughs> According to the stream time. Oh wait, hang on. Three days per hour we've been... Never mind, we're... Four days. In the nether. That's insane. Though I have walked longer, so... I 
I like to do interactive streams a lot with, uh, I, I definitely love interacting with chat. I love to talk to people a lot. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. And I'll do it up until the point of where my chat's so fast I can't read it. In that case, I'll just have to play. I don't know what I'd do then. I wouldn't be able to talk to people. Yeah, this will definitely be far enough away that we won't have to worry about anybody getting to us anytime soon. Oh, you know what the funny part is, though? I'm pretty sure the server has DynMap installed and the admins can see DynMap. So right now we're just generating chunks in the nether, which I'm pretty sure each, like, chunk itself is probably about, like, 5 megabytes or something. It's something strange like that. But, oh yeah, definitely by the time we're done traveling, it's going to be, like, at least a gigabyte of pictures. Or just go into the nether. I'm happy I got the stream quality fixed though. Um, it's definitely better. Mainly because I switched from OBS to OBS Studio, which honestly, if you're just recording or even streaming or recording, it doesn't matter. Just use Studio, it's so much better than uh, standard OBS. I would only use standard OBS if I'm doing things like outside of streaming, like I need to connect to a GoPro to stream. Then I would do that. We will have a couple silences of walking and in three minutes I will have to end the stream. You know what, we'll do four minutes and 46 seconds until my speed runs out. This is definitely a journey, and I hope we spawn in a semi-decent biome that we can destroy. You know it would be hilarious if we, like, we're TNT bombing, right? And then we hit the end city, and then we hit the portal thing that you can't break with anything. And then we literally have to move the bombers to a new area because we can't use that entire chunk. Have, do you have any slime balls yet? Or have you gotten any slime balls yet? Oh no, I wasn't talking about the end portal, I was talking about the ancient city. I don't know if you can do the same thing with the ancient city. Yeah, but you can't even, it's literally Bedrock 2.0. They're like, oh, let's just add another Bedrock block. Did you see the Minecraft lore video on that portal? Wow, he's back. Back to being insane. Oh yeah, we're going to be going for a long time. Now 
This is Minecraft Manhunt. going. We've got 11 seconds until the stream is over. Oh no. Can you put like a, can you build a, oh wait, I have some blocks on I'm just going to make a funny arrow in the direction I have to go next. get going for today. You can go back to your base if you want. I'll stay here and uh, won't leave this area probably. So, Oh, the obby? You want to make a portal here? All right. Well, okie dokie then. To see what's on the other side. Oh, okay. Fair. That's a little bit of a bigger portal than what you need. Subspace bubble. Oh, seven kilometers. Yeah, if you wander around and find some temples, those those have I'm pretty sure those are the highest chance to spawn uh, god apples. Cause I remember you can get like two god apples. There's like a 10% chance you can get up to two god apples in one uh, pyramid. Anyways, I will get going now. Yep, I will be on tomorrow, probably earlier than what you would think. Well, actually, it'll be more towards the evening of your day because um, I can actually... It's, I'll be on in seven hours exactly, pretty much. Could be less, could be a little bit more, around seven hours from now. So you might not be on, you might be on though, who knows. If not, I'll keep traveling, regardless. Anyways, I will see you.